Do you need film school or is it all online now? Let's see. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes mystery out of the effects techniques. Go and some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And do I need film school to be a filmmaker is a question that I constantly get asked. And the answer is absolutely not. Some of the greatest filmmakers of all time never went. But the other question, should I go to film school or would it help, is a much more difficult one to answer and really depends on the individual. But more and more, my personal opinion leads towards film school is great for networking and making relationships that could help you in your career. And it's nice to have a certain amount of time that you fully focus on learning your craft with like-minded people, but really at the end of it, I'm not really sure that you need to go at all because there are so many downsides to it, especially the crazy amount of debt you decide to go into. Student loans are no joke and film school is insanely expensive across the board. The good news is nowadays, almost anything that you wanna know can be found online. So let's take a look at a bunch of resources that can give you an online film school without breaking the bank. First up is writing. This has been a tough one to get good info on over the years and that's because it's not the easiest topic to approach and there are a lot of self-proclaimed gurus that suck at writing, giving out less than great info. But now we definitely have some solid options. First is the obvious, free, and most important, reading scripts. Of course, this isn't my own original idea. That's what I heard back in the day and what I started doing and reading great scripts really is the best way to learn how to write them. You can get a great sense of structure, pace, and of course formatting just by spending a lot of time reading them. And for that, my favorite site to go to to find scripts would be simplyscripts.com. Then moving on to the more straightforward instruction side, but still free, you have the script Script Notes podcast, which is one that I've been preaching for years and will continue. It is a wellspring of great information by two people who are insanely knowledgeable and still inside the Hollywood system making massive films. Then on the paid side, another thing I keep preaching is Masterclass. They have three worth your time. Aaron Sorkin's Masterclass, which has been the best of its type that I've ever seen. I've watched it through twice over now. It's just loaded with incredible info and 10 times better than the entire screenwriting course I had in college. The other two from Masterclass are from James Patterson, who is a novelist and one that just came out from David Mamet. I haven't watched that one yet, but I'm really excited about it. David Mamet is an incredible writer. Each of these costs around 90 bucks, but compare that to the thousands it would cost for a screenwriting course from someone who isn't even doing it, and especially at those levels, and there you go. Moving away from writing into production, there's a ton of great stuff on cinematography now, best of which comes from Shane Hurlbut, another one that I've told you guys about, which is Shane's Inner Circle. This is a monthly subscription to an insane amount of deep dive, must have information. It's incredibly practical stuff with a whole lot of theory as well. Then on the free side, you have Cinematography Database. Matt has an amazing channel on YouTube that puts out info that no one else is really doing. He looks at different projects and breaks down how they were shot and has plenty of videos on career and gear as well. Then saving the best for last and still free is RogerDeakins.com. On his site, you can find full breakdowns on how he sets up certain shots from different films he's shot. Deakins is easily one of the best of all time, so this resource is all kinds of amazing. You have to become a member to see everything, but that is completely free. Moving on to directing, there isn't a lot out there for this yet. It's growing and it's another tough topic for sure, but there are still some great resources. First comes from Story and Heart Academy. This one is much pricier at $30 a month, but Ryan Booth has a course on there following the creation of his latest short film. It's incredibly honest and packed with really useful info and Booth is crazy talented, so that doesn't hurt either. Then staying with things you have to pay for and jumping back to Masterclass, they have two classes on acting. First from Kevin Spacey and the second from Dustin Hoffman. These are great acting courses, of course, but what I loved about them is what they showed from a directing side. Both men direct and direct the actors throughout, and some great techniques and ideas get flushed out because of it. Plus, it's incredibly important to understand the actor's perspective as a director, so this class is excellent on both of those levels. You aren't getting any technical info, but what you do get for directing actors is pretty priceless. Then something that's free, but not free, would be director's commentaries. It always shocks me how many people don't listen to them. You basically get to watch the film with the director as they spill their guts about it, and sometimes they can be a little bit lame, but more often than not, you're getting some incredibly valuable thoughts from the artist that made it. So make sure you're grabbing your favorite films and seeing if they have director's commentaries. You're gonna be shocked at how much you learn just from sitting and listening to that. Then on the completely free side, if you aren't following David Sandberg, you absolutely should be. He started out making short films with just him and his wife in Sweden, and now is in Hollywood directing horror films like Lights Out and the coming Annabelle sequel. And more than anyone else that I've seen, He's just really honest and open with information, including his breakdowns and a recently released 20 minute look on how he prepped for Lights Out, which you can find on his Vimeo. But now we're gonna take a quick break and then get into post and other goodies. 
you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is a place to go when that next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand or idea. The world's top two premier and most recognizable domain name extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. Of course, domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. So when you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the key pod code FILMRIOT at domain.com. Domain.com's checkout, and when you think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. Jumping right back in with this one, the film is now Movie Extra's YouTube channel, which is just a bunch of raw BTS footage from all kinds of movies. If you can't get on set to be a fly on the wall and learn, this is the next best thing. Then moving on into post-production, of course, there are very obvious places that you should be following, like Video Copilot, Red Giant, and the Sam and Nico channel, and FXPHD. If you don't know about any of those, what are you doing? But there is also a recent release for editors called Film Editing Pro. There isn't a ton there yet, but they do different courses and have some good free sample content as well to take a look into pro editing. Then onto sound, there's something else that's pretty new, and that is Cinema Sound. It's a blog slash instructional site dedicated to sound and film. You could do three months for $99 or 12 months for $250, so you are paying for it, but it has something like 80 hours of instruction on all things sound and film, from production to post-production, and that's definitely an area that doesn't have enough info out there, so that's a really great one. And yes, of course, it's 250 bucks for a year subscription, which is expensive, but when you compare that to what you would spend going to school for sound, that's a pretty great price. Then onto the free side, if you are into music or you just wanna know more about that process, Junkie XL has been posting a lot of great content on his YouTube channel, including a breakdown of his theme from Batman vs Superman. Then finally, there are tons of really talented and experienced people who are just really generous with their knowledge that you can follow on social media. We made a big list of that and posted it in the notes below. Places like ASC on Instagram that gives the channel over to different DPs who then take deep dives into the projects that they work on. Stuff like that can be more valuable than two years in college, in my opinion. But I also have some filmmakers that I love to follow down there who are always posting really helpful or inspirational content. So definitely check that out and do some following. We also pinned a comment below, so if you have have someone that you love to follow that we didn't put in the notes, post it there and share with the class. But that's it. And to go back to the question again, do you need to go to film school? Nowadays, more than ever, the answer is a resounding no. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to film school. That may be the right path for you. It was for me, but that was a different time. So before you take the plunge and spend a ton of money on student loans, give content like we showed here a try, get on any and every set you possibly can and start making your own films. Learn by studying from those that are doing it and by doing it yourself. And if you still want to go, go for it. But of course, that's just my opinion. And again, check the notes below for links to everything we talked about and our social channels as well. And I'll see you next week when a tree tells me three stories.